In this video, we're going to learn about combustion reactions. There are two types of combustion reactions. Uh, the first is a complete combustion reaction, and then the second is an incomplete combustion reaction. So in both types, we're going to have essentially the same reactants. We're going to have a hydrocarbon, and then that is going to react with oxygen gas, which is O2. The difference between these two types, complete and incomplete, is going to be in the products. So let's start with hydrocarbons. What are those? Well, hydrocarbons are compounds that are composed of uh, just two atoms, carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. So that'd be like propane. Propane is a fuel that is commonly used in barbecues and grills and things like that. And this is what propane looks like. It's a hydrocarbon because it's made up of just hydrogen and carbon. Hydrocarbons are combustible. And that means they're going to burn in oxygen. And there's other compounds that will undergo combustion other than hydrocarbons. But we're going to keep things simple and just look at hydrocarbons. However, we are going to include with these hydrocarbon compounds uh, some other compounds that are very similar that contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, like ethanol. Ethanol is a fuel additive um, to gasoline. And ethanol has the formula C2H5. OH. So there's oxygen here in the ethanol. But ethanol is going to combust just like another hydrocarbon. We're going to end up with the same stuff. So uh, no matter what the hydrocarbon is, we can have any type of hydrocarbon, we're always going to produce the same stuff. So in a complete combustion reaction, this is kind of like the simple general formula that a combustion reaction is going to take on. We'll take the hydrocarbon, it'll react with oxygen gas, and we'll end up with the same thing every single time. Carbon dioxide and water, that's it. So no matter what this hydrocarbon is, we're always going to produce carbon dioxide and water. So an example of this uh, would be methane, CH4, react reacting with oxygen gas, which is always O2, and we'll end up with CO2 and H2O. We always just have to go back and balance these. So that's kind of the trick to them is coming up with the correct balancing. So in this case, we need to put a 2 right there in front of the water and a 2 right there in front of the O2 to get everything to balance out. We could try another example here. This time, let's see how ethanol would combust. So here's ethanol reacting with O2. And of course, it's going to produce CO2 and H2O. So this is a complete combustion reaction. Then we just have to go ahead and balance it. So we'll put a 3, a 2, and then a 3 to get everything to balance out. So there is our complete combustion reaction. We just make carbon dioxide and water. So what about incomplete? Incomplete means that the reaction wasn't completely efficient, and so we've made some impurities along with the carbon dioxide and water. And generally those impurities are going to be soot, and that soot is just made up of carbon atoms and carbon monoxide, which is CO. So now these are in addition to uh, in addition to the carbon monoxide in the water. Now, some people, when they write incomplete combustion reactions, they include both the carbon monoxide and the carbon along with the CO2 and H2O, but some people just don't worry about the C part. They just say, well, it's incomplete. We're going to just add carbon monoxide to the product side. So again, these would both be on the product side. So let's look at what that looks like by taking uh, methane here and doing an incomplete combustion. So still going to make CO2 and H2O, but then we're also going to produce carbon monoxide. And so this is going to create a little bit of a challenge in balancing. So be patient with these ones as you balance them. And this one, uh, in this case, I'm going to put a 4 out front, and then a 7 here, and then a 2, and then an 8, and then a 2, and that's going to be balanced. So they do take a bit of patience to get those to balance, and if you want to review balancing, just go ahead and watch 
the lesson again on balancing chemical equations. So that's one type of uh, way that people write an incomplete reaction. The other type is that they're going to include carbon as well. And so you can see the difference here is I just added that carbon to represent that soot that's produced. So again, balancing is a bit of a challenge. For this one, we would put a 4 and a 6 there, and then an 8 in front of the water, and a 2 in front of the carbon monoxide, and we get everything to balance out. So that is complete and incomplete combustion reactions.